Iron Medic 1. Address to the problem? He's the voice behind A Shift Emergency Dispatches. For a majority of his 38 years with the Seattle Fire Department, Lieutenant Chris Nastos has sat in the hot seat. One of the things that's nice about it is you get to be a part of every incident that happens, and I enjoy that and staying on top of things. Is he conscious and awake? Originally, Chris did not choose the fire alarm center as his home. Life chose it for him. I loved operations. I really did. But I was in a bad car accident and injured my knee, and uh, because of that, I came to the alarm center. And it just ended up where I stayed there the rest of the time, the rest of my career. The fire alarm center is one of those places in the fire department. They work 24-7 like we do but they're hidden away and no one ever sees them and it's easy to forget the things that they do. But day to day, everything they do impacts the operations division. Those who work in operations say Lieutenant Nastos makes life easier for them by being on top of his game. Chris Nastos, first of all, is all about customer service and customer service to the public, customer service to the fire department, uh, customer service to the people who work for him and pretty good customer service to the people who work above him too. He's a great advocate for his people there. Chris's strength is bringing the best out of his crew. He treats his co-workers like his own family. I'm very fortunate. I have really good people and I hope to think that I had something to do with it as far as training, but they're just good people and they do an excellent job and it makes me look good, so maybe that's why I'm here. I don't know. Tens of thousands of 911 calls later, Nasso says a panicked emergency call earlier in his career helps him focus on the human element to dispatching. I had a young girl call me and she was screaming into the phone so loud I had no idea. I thought her house was on fire. Well, as it kept going on, she finally mentioned the word baby and I went, oh, something's not good here. So I rolled the response, a med seven, and found out later after talking to the units that this was a babysitter. I think she was 14 and it was a SIDS death. And yeah, I mean, thinking what that poor girl went through, knowing she was just over there babysitting, taking care of maybe a neighbor's baby or whatever, and next thing you know, she's in charge and the baby dies, that's got to be really hard to deal with and to live with. I mean, she had no effect on the situation. It wasn't her fault, but yeah, that always stuck with me, and I'm really prone to be a little more le leaning as far as dispatching to sending on children. He really sets a high standard and a high bar and does it with an infectious attitude. You know, he has been compared to many famous European leaders, but mostly in jest. You'd think that somebody with that kind of attitude that it would rub people the wrong way, but his people really like working for him. Right. Chief, well, you earned it. Congratulations. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. The Officer of the Year Award is humbling for Chris. With or without the recognition, this lieutenant simply enjoys his job. I love my crew. I love the type of work we do. I love it when we really get challenged by a big incident. Yeah, it's an unusual job and it's exciting and it's fun. So maybe that's why I continue to do it instead of retire, because I do like going to work.